as long as each set is a high quality set close to failure three sets always beats one set and five sets hey what's going on megan here all right so answering the questions of reddit so there was this one let me thumb it up how many what see that's the thing guys whenever you guys post questions check your spelling god damn it i don't care about your spelling on the description right here right but the main title check your fucking spelling right that's one of the rules in fact that's rule number one no lazy titles when posting be specific and fix typos right so how many woking sets the fuck you mean working sets should you do per exercise um also let me see you did not include your stats which is rule number two no fitness questions or posts without your goddamn stats right so height weight age estimated body fat percentage training experience if you know your ffmi include it right the more information i have about you the better right because if i don't have detailed information about you the best thing i could give you is generic cookie cutter answers and i hate that right because everyone is different right what's optimal for person a might not be optimal for person b depending on genetics how long you've been training recovery management blah 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 blah. right so this guy already broke two rules but anyway it's fine it's all love all right had some spare time so i was just checking in some of megan's old vids and seen one about weekly volume and the study showed five sets for one exercise just wanted to clarify does that include warm-ups as i do two to three actual working sets per exercise blah blah blah, blah. all right all right i don't know what you mean by this final sense here uh, a cycle of hsp is actually you know four weeks but um all right so uh yes three to five sets per exercise is where you're going to max out um the must the myofibular protein synthesis response all right so we know three sets is infinitely better than one set right you're still going to build muscle with one set but not as much as three sets that's a fact right that's been proven a gazillion times both in untrained and trained men so for you heavy duty Dorian Yates training motherfuckers oh one set is all you need get the fuck off right you, you, you're still going to grow with, with one set but in every single study that compare one to three set as long as each set is a high quality set close to failure three sets always beats one set and five sets beats three sets by by a smaller margin right so three sets is definitely better than one set five sets is better than three sets but not by a huge margin to be safe i just tell people do five sets in case you have fast one of the sets at least you're going to be near the top end right because remember it's all about maximizing my fibular protein synthesis which obviously is only going to be elevated um maximally elevated for about 24 hours anyway right the longer you've been training it's only going to be up for like 16 hours um assuming there's not there's no excessive muscle damage so um yeah so i always recommend um three to five sets ideally five sets in case you have fast one of your sets now as far as warm-ups now again it's a great question does that include warm-ups yes if those warm-up sets were hypertrophic what do i mean if those warm-up sets were close to failure meaning rpe of about seven to nine um or you know which means about one or three reps in reserve then yes those warm-up sets count towards hypertrophy and it should count towards your volume um count again this is only if those warm-up sets were done close to failure as in rpe of seven to nine right some people think well i only use a light weight and i only did about 20 reps so it's not uh you know it's just a warm-up set uh, no motherfucker if those 20 reps were close to failure they're going to contribute towards hypertrophy in fact in interest speed training that's why i call them warm-up pump sets right because the light the weight is light enough for them to be you know to feel like a warm-up but as you get close to failure yeah those things are going to increase myofibular protein synthesis and they're going to down regulate myostatin for about eight hours or so so you should count warm-up sets if they are done close to failure right because if you go close to failure then you already know it right you're gonna then you're putting enough mechanical tension on your high threshold motor units right on your high threshold motor fibers and the best way to gauge this is you'll know it right you'll know it because the rep speed is going to slow down even though you trying your hardest to contract the weight to move the weight as fast as possible so the force velocity relationship kicks in right velocity is going to be slow because you're approaching failure so local fatigue kicks in so velocity is going to be low against your will obviously therefore force is going to be high right and thus mechanical tension so long story short yes warm-up sets do count if they're taking close to failure as in seven to nine rpe and the amount of stats per exercise is about three to five but i tell most people to aim for five you cannot go wrong in, you know going for five whereas if you go for three sets then how do you really know that 
you you give it your best on those three sets you know sometimes a lot of people half fast the first set you know the first working set so where if you're doing five sets not only based on the literature you maximize the myofibular protein synthesis but you also know that worst case scenario you half fast maybe one maybe two working sets which still leaves you with three higher quality working sets uh, keep in mind this is by exercise this is per exercise right per muscle region per muscle angle so don't go ahead and do five sets for let's say uh um upper chest and then turn around and do a different upper chest exercise for another five sets you know you, you you're really doing 10 sets per session in that example um now if you're doing bro splits if you're doing push pull and you don't you know you can't really train with high frequency you can't really do full body workouts then there's nothing wrong with doing more than five sets per workout session i just don't recommend it because now you're causing way too much muscle damage but anyway hope that answers your question i'm out of here see you guys in the reddit all right, guys, don't forget to like or share the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workout splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of Lord. Or you could just buy the share at full price. Alright guys, I'm out of here.